YouTube, Daniel Cave TV here today. Today we'll be teaching you how to use TrueCrypt. TrueCrypt is a program that allows you to create encrypted partitions, encrypt files, encrypt whatever you want, encrypt your whole hard drive. It is a free software found on TrueCrypt.org, I believe is the URL. Uh, this video was requested, or, well, it wasn't really requested, but Spartan, the General Cave owner, asked for a video on how to use TrueCrypt. So I'm just going to go ahead and teach you how to use it. Alright, so what you want to first do is download TrueCrypt, of course, install it. Once it's installed, go ahead and open it. Now you'll see all these different um, letters with hard drive icons all the way from D to Z. Unless you have other hard drives plugged in, then they'll be then those some of these letters might be missing. But anyway, so what you want to do is you want to click your volume. So I'm going to do D, but I'm not going to actually encrypt it. I'm going to stop it halfway through or so just to show you what to do. Create volume. This is recommended for all experienced users. Now, if it was me, I'd be doing one of these. But since you know you're probably not well, you're since you're watching this video on how to use TrueCrypt, then you're not technically experienced. So what you want to do create in, create an encrypted file container. Click next. Okay, then click select file. Now this is a bit different. What they don't tell you is it says select file, but what you really do is select where you want it to be encrypted at. So let's say I want it on my desktop. So what I'm gonna click is so you can type whatever you want. Uh, TrueCrypt. Uh, it lost its files. TrueCrypt container. I mean you can type whatever you want. Click save. That's what they don't tell you though. It says select a file, so you'd know you'd think you'd like select one of these files or something. But what you really do is technically install or select where you want it to be saved at with a name, which they kind of tell you that there. But you know, and then you'll click next, and you can click your encryption type. But mostly recommended to do a uh, AES. Then you'll click next. Type. Uh, however much volume space you want in kilobytes, megabytes, or gigabytes. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave that at megabytes and put 20. Mm. And then type a password. So, just give me a minute here to type my password. I'm just kidding, it's not my password. I would never type my password. Alright, so then, okay, so... Of course, that's not my password, so I don't think it is. And then it'll say short passwords are easy to crack. Brute force techniques. I That is true. I've been able to crack them, but that's not short, and that thing's nearly impossible to crack. And then it'll click random pulls. Uh, you don't. You can do that if you want, but once you're ready, uh, go ahead and click your system type. Recommended NTF, NTFS. You can click your clusters. That, just leave that at default. And then when you click format, there you go. It's already done. Uh, that was faster than I expected it to be. Oh, that was 19 megabytes a second. That would be explain it. But uh, okay, so it's been the volume has been successfully installed. So I'll click next. Which wait, no, sorry. I'll click cancel, but just click done. And then there's my container. So as you can tell, you know it's asking you what you know what you want it to be uploaded in. So go ahead and whoops, select. I have to select the file here. There we go. Mount it. Put my password. Make sure it's the correct password. Okay. Okay. There we go. It's been mounted. So now that it's been mounted, I should be able to open this. Nope. Wait. Computer. There we are. It's been mounted. It's local disk D. There's 10 megabytes out of 19 megabytes free. Now I can put a file in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the TrueCrypt installment, okay? So now that it's in there, go ahead and click back, close this off, click dismount, okay, now it's gone. Now if I go in here, there's no hard drive. That that file right there, this setup file, has been su successfully encrypted into this TrueCrypt container. So if I was to click it again and then remount it and then type its password, okay... It's been mounted again. Go in there again. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Go in there again. And then there's the file. Ready to be used. Not damaged. Completely able to be opened. And that's how you use the True Crypt volume container. That is all for this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, YouTube.